My client wanted a pantry door, like she saw on Pinterest. The opening was only 20 inches, so I suggested we use her hollow core door, like you see here. You'll want to stay to the end to see the results. I had a basic plan that involved some cabinet doors and a piece of molding. So I started by cutting a hole for the cabinet doors to go in, one in the front, one in the back. So I had to use a drill on the corners just to make it so I could get my um, jigsaw blade in there. I do a little bit at a time. I'm always checking underneath to make sure there's nothing in the way of my blade. I glue the molding down and clamp it down and then use some trim nails to secure it to the door. I insert the bottom glass door into the opening and secure it with some L brackets. I also give it a coat of white paint because you'll see that from the outside. Surprisingly, there's not much in a hollow core door. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised since it actually says hollow in the name, but um, there's cardboard inside. There's a lot of cardboard, very little wood. So I was able to secure it to three places on the inside with an L bracket. I'm using the typeset stamp from IOD to spell pantry. Now remember the door is only 20 inches wide while the window is much less. So I have to carefully arrange <laughs> those letters. I'm just using uh, the stamp pad and stamping it on the glass now. And later I will use an oil-based marker to make the letters even darker. I attached the upper window with um, some L brackets as well. And there was a little gap around the outside of the window. So rather than go to the hardware store and get some wooden trim, I thought that it would be really cool to use um, Iron Orchid Designs mold to give it a little decorative touch. And this was really just what I needed because I was able to um, form the clay in some areas to make it uh, fit where I needed to. So I'm using the trimmings mold. I think it's the trimmings two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and just putting that air dry clay in there. It's a joy to work with and fun to watch. Even more fun to do. I continue making molds and work my way around the entire door. I just love the detail that this uh, pattern is giving. I use tight bond wood glue to attach it to the door.
I'm using the oil based marker and just going over my letters just to make them darker. When my trim is dry, you can see that it's shrunk a little bit in a few places and that's okay. Not enough that we need to worry about it. So we're just gonna use paint to fill up those cracks and they really won't be that noticeable. I actually like the way that the clay kind of shrinks and cracks sometimes because it kind of lends itself to that old architectural look. I had intended originally to put a crystal doorknob on the door, but I really had difficulty removing the one the knob on the one side, so I decided it was better for functionality. So I sprayed it in a flat black before I painted the rest, and I am using uh, silk paint here, all in one, with the sealer built in, and I'm just putting a coat of paint over everything. The color I'm using is salt water. And now I'm making some molds for the back window because I had the same gap and you'll see it when it's open. So I'm using a little bit smaller mold. Um, this time I'm sitting down on the job and making all the molds at once. Remember what a hollow core door looked like before and what it looks like now. There was a big gap between the windows and the molds, so I used some more IOD molds to fill the gap. I asked the client what she liked, any sort of uh, designs or anything. When I mentioned Florida Lee, she told me a little story about that being a symbol for the lily. So interesting and meaningful. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!